How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse. And I'm John from Running Warehouse. And today we are gonna be taking a first look at the all new Saucony Endorphin Pro 4. Now John, the Endorphin Pro doesn't really need much of a introduction. This is gonna be one of the top super shoes over the past few years, carbon plate, super foam, and taking a look at the version now, we've got a complete update from top to bottom. I know a lot of people over the past year asked when the Endorphin Elite came out, is the Endorphin Pro still gonna live side by side? And now that we've got version four, it's pretty obvious it's still gonna live, have its own unique feel, and it even takes some of the tech from the Elite, trickles it on over into this midsole. Yeah, Connor, the Endorphin series is near and dear to my heart. The Endorphin Pro was actually the first super shoe I raced in and the Endorphin Elite is a shoe that holds my personal best. So I love the foams that each have to deliver. It's been really interesting to see a marriage between the two foams, and it looks like the four is gonna combine to make a really fun and explosive ride. Yeah, you know, John, a lot to talk about with this shoe, and I think first on up, we gotta start with the midsole, a very aggressive design, especially in the heel. We've got these nice curvatures and Really what's most important is the foam that's within the shoe. We still have full length Power Run PB, it runs throughout the shoe, but we now also have that Power Run HG foam. We saw that in the Endorphin Elite. It's gonna be that little bit firmer, more responsive foam compound. You're gonna see it peeking out in the back and it runs throughout the top in a small layer and is embedded within that Power Run PB foam. Yeah, I love Power Run HG. The Endorphin Elite is so explosive a ton of rebound, so it's really interesting to see a nice layer of that attitude, that Power Run PB that we all know and love for being soft, highly responsive, and really lightweight. Yeah, you know you're gonna get that little bit softer Power Run PB foam, along with that little bit firmer Power Run HG foam. Really, this is gonna be a perfect blend, best of both worlds, and you can't forget about what's embedded within the foam. We've got the carbon plate, same plate as before, you're gonna get that torsional rigidity, that efficiency, everything you need on race day. Right, now let's move on down to the outsole. We see nice rubber coverage here. It's got full coverage in the forefoot with strategic placements in the heel, and it looks to be pretty minimal, which is what you want. Yeah, the Endorphin Pro is always basically as minimal of an outsole as possible. A lot of exposed foam in the midfoot. We've got this nice cutout where you're gonna see that plate uh, sticking out. In the last version, we did have a small cutout in the forefoot that has been filled in. And of course, you can't forget about the swallow tail. Always nice to see that aesthetic and uh, will be interesting to see how it feels on foot. Now, moving on up to the upper, of course, on that topic of lightweight, we've got the minimal race upper. It's light, it's breathable. When you stick your hand in, you can see right through it. As you move on back to the heel, there's a little bit of structure in the heel, but really this is built for one thing and one thing only, that's race day. Exactly, and one thing that stood out to me with this, Connor, was this integrated tongue. It's got this knit material that's nice and soft, takes inspiration from the Sinister, and it looks like it's just gonna give you that nice, comfortable, a little bit more structured uh, feeling to get you through that race. Well, you know, the Saucony Endorphin Pro 4 is completely revamped from top to bottom. If we look back at the original Endorphin Pro, from one to two, it was just an upper update. We saw a big upgrade in version three, and when I heard about four, I figured maybe it would just be another upper update, but we've got another complete revamp, new foam, new upper, Everything about this shoe is geared for race day, and now it's gonna live side by side, that Endorphin Elite. So it'll be interesting to see which one runners choose for race day. I think you're gonna have to get both on your feet, try them out for yourself. And if you're looking to get this shoe on your own feet, you can find it at Running Warehouse in spring 2024.